for tonight's battle report, we have Tau versus White Scar, 3,000 points. From Chapter Approved, we are doing Frontline Assault. This is our current battlefield. We have every, the objectives will be uh, Hammer and Anvil for the deployment, and the objective markers have been set up. We will come back with Armies on Parade in a moment. For tonight's battle report, Armies on Parade, we have the Armies of the Tau. Our Warlord Longstrike with the Hammerhead with the Railgun has Exemplar of the Cayune for his Warlord trait and uh, Pure Tide Engram Neurochip for their Relic. He is supported by three Fire Support Hammerheads, two armed with twin Burst Cannons, and one armed with twin Fusion Cannons, and they all have the Smart Missile Systems. We have two Storm Surges, armed with Pulse Blast Cannons, Cluster Missiles, Smart Missiles, and Destroyer Missiles, and Flamers. Armed with um, Early Warning Override, Shield Generators, and Stimulant Injectors. We have three four-man stealth suit teams with Burst Cannons and ATS. We have one commander with four fusion cannons and two shield drones. Four crisis suits with two cyclic ion rifles each and a multi-tracker and eight shield drones. One ghost keel with cyclic ion rakers and flamers with two stealth drones. And one unit of pathfinders with a... Pulse Accelerator Drone. This is our Tau Army for this battle. And our opponents for today, the White Scars, starting off with their commands, commanders for this brigade. We have... Starting with Gravis Captain. Um, pretty much, as you see, he's got the bolts from Gauntlet and Relic Blade. Um, then second is Captain. Uh, he's a regular Captain, not the Primaris or anything. Um, and he also has the Mastercrafted Bolt Gun and Power Sword. Or Actually, I did upgrade it to Relic Blade. Uh, then next to him is the Librarian with a Force Sword and Bolt Gun. Uh, and then the Chaplain with a Combi Plasma and again the Rosa... Uh, Crozius Arcanum, the Rosarius is his necklace that gives him an invulnerable save. Uh, then, moving on to the troops, I have three units that are all the same. Um, this unit, this unit, this unit are all. Uh, the sergeants have chain swords, so he's not quite accurate. But And then all the heavy weapons are missile launchers. Um, and that is three of the six. Four and five of the six are just five-man um, attack units. Uh, the fifth fifth man of each is put up on top of the Razorbacks because they will be embarked when they at the start of the game. Okay. Um, of which this is also a sergeant with a chain sword, but since he's just different from the other ones, I use using him as the second sergeant for the five man unit. Okay. And then as the sixth troop is the intercessors. Almost forgot their name. Um, and they all have the regular bolt rifles, and the sergeant also has an auxiliary grenade launcher. Uh, moving on to fast attack, two units of bikes, sergeant, each has a uh, plasma pistol, and both of the uh, just regular inf regular are have plasma guns. Uh, the third fast attack is my inceptors, all are armed with assault bolters, and that completes a fast attack. Uh, Heavy support is the Centurion Devastators. They are, as they're set up, with two of them have heavy sets of heavy bolters, and the sergeant has twin, uh, double LAS cannons. And then um, the Hell Blasters, they're all with the plasma incinerators, uh, basically standard equipment. And the third heavy support is the Predator tank with twin LAS guns on the turret and heavy bolters on the side uh, mounts. Uh, elites are my Dreadnought, 
uh, with a assault cannon uh, and storm bolter on the dreadnought close combat weapon. Uh, the terminators are all uh, equipped with storm bolters. The sergeant has a uh, power sword, and the rest have power fists. The Van Vanguard veterans all have storm shields and plasma gun pistols. Not plasma guns, plasma pistols. And then that basically rounds out the basics of the brigade. Moving on to the extras, uh, two transports. They're both Razorbacks. Uh, one is the last cannons, as shown. And this one, unfortunately, yes, those are actually heavy bolters, but they're, um, they're supposed to be twin assault cannons. Uh, I'm looking for those. And then, finally, my flyer. Storm Talon gunship with tw two LAS cannons on the side and twin assault cannon for the belly gun. And that is pretty much it. And that is our white scars for this battle. That's a lot of stuff for the Tau to have to get through. This looks like it's going to be an interesting fight. For Tau deployments for turn nice. one, they have set up this stealth suit team back here. That ghost kill is camping on that objective right there. That stealth suit team's dropped in behind that building right there. The storm surge is hiding behind this building here. Give him a little bit of cover because he's pretty much blocked there. The hammerheads have set up shop here around that objective. The other storm surge is setting up shop right here. And the other crisis suit team, our stealth suit team, is set up right there. The crisis suits and commander have gone into reserve. And this is Tau deployment. We'll come back with White Scar deployment. For White Scar's deployment, we got the intercessors and two sets of infantry on the other levels next to the captain, who I am using. Uh, I am using the chapter master stratagem, so there went three of my command points, but now I get to reroll all field hit, hit rolls. Um, the, next to him is the Razorback with the chaplain and five-man unit embarked, then the predator over to the dreadnought, and then the two bikers, attack unit, and centurion devastators. Uh, they're looking, probably going to charge that ghost kill or see how far they can get anyway. And then hell blasters and another attack unit in cover in the other building with the razorback, and the captain has the relic of the burning blade, and with another five-man attack unit embarked on that Razorback. And then the Storm Talons waiting to get off the ground, I guess. And then I have these four units in reserve, which is the Terminator, Vanguard Veterans, Inceptors. And my Librarian is my Warlord. Uh, and he's got the Warlord trait of Iron Resolve, which allows him one extra wound and re um, six up feel no pain, basically. All right. Tau has one turn one, and we will come back after movement phase for Tau. Turn one. For Tau movement phase, turn one. These stealth suits jumped up there. The ghost kills camping out on that objective. Those stealth suits jumped up there. The pathfinders moved up to there. Those stealth suits over there stayed still. The ghost kill moved up to uh, get in range. The hammerheads have stayed stationary for this turn, and this guy stayed stationary. The commander was given a possible suicide mission. He's jumped in the back back here to try and shoot at some of these tanks and tanks back here. And we will now come back at Tau shooting, turn one. For Tau shooting phase, the stealth suits, ghost keel over here, all fired into this group over here. They managed to put some wounds into the Razorback, whittle the hell blasters down to one, and did a wound over here to this bike group, they got some support from some of the hammerheads and say they did a good amount of damage over here. A whole lot of shots from the storm surges went into that predator and they, with some support from the commander back there, they managed to take that out and do a couple of wounds to the Razorback over here. We've done some wounds to the intercessors up on the top here. And that will finish Tau's shooting phase for turn one. And we will now be moving to White Scar's movement phase, turn two, or turn one. For White Scar's movement phase, these uh, Terminators, Interceptors, and the Librarian jumped in back there. 
All the bikes and everything's run up on this objective. It's going to be a little battle over here. The dreadnought moved over here. The Centurions moved over there, and everybody else is getting ready to go pound on that commander over there. So that ends, and in the Psyker phase, the Librarian casts its smite on the Storm Surge, and Might of Heroes on himself. This is Tau. This is White Scar's movement phase for turn one, and we are now moving into combat phase for White Scar's turn one. White Scar shooting phase, turn one. Just about everybody back over here fired into the poor little commander and took him out. Uh, we lost a couple of three Pathfinders over here. Lost some stealth suits right there. Most of this over here shot into the ghost kill, doing three wounds. And over here, all these deep strikers back here fired into long strike. They've got him down to five wounds. And the uh, storm raven kind of didn't do a whole lot over there. We're now moving into charging, which is going to have this little blob over here charging into long strike. And Storm Talon hit long strike for four damage. Oh, that's right, he did. Storm Talon hit long strike for four damage. He's going to advance. And then the bikes are going to charge the ghost kill. All right. That's all and that'll be charging for White Scar's turn one. And we'll be back after charges. In the White Scar's combat phase, they charged in with the Terminators, but they failed their charge. Okay. And the Interceptors charged in, lost one, and did uh, no wounds to the long strike. Over here, the bikes charged in. They managed to do no wounds to the ghost kill and took one wound back. This completes charges for White Scars. Turn one, and we will be moving to movement for Tau. Turn two. For Tau movement phase, long strike backed up over here. Everything over here is kind of pretty much well stayed where it was at. The ghost kill backed up over here, and these stealth suits moved in over here. We are now going into Tau shooting phase, oh, turn two. Stuff, no. okay. Okay, let's, let's, let's so in Tau shooting phase, we okay. shot okay. and uh, killed shot. one Roll Terminator time. and wounded one. There's only one Interceptor left over here. We got the Storm okay. Raven down to uh, two wounds. We uh, yeah, killed the Librarian over here. Ten, we did kill on one Marine over here. Eight. And we knocked out two of the bikes over there. There are not going to be any charges for the Tau in this turn. So we will be moving on to White Scars. Um, movement and Psyker phase, turn two. For White Scars movement phase, these all have moved up. The Terminators moved up to try and take out Long Strike. The Storm Raven moved over here. The Vanguard veterans have moved up here, and these guys kind of shoveled over this way. The Dreadnought has moved up over here, and these all stayed in their nice little spot over here in the back. Except for the captain. He moved up to the top. He moved up to the top. And these guys have all stayed over here. Well, no, the black ones moved around over that way. And the captain over there moved. So we are now moving to uh, White Scar's shooting phase, turn two. And we are sitting currently at 10 points to three. White, or 10 points to three tau. In White Scar shooting phase for turn two, they've uh, put more shots into Long Strike and got him down to three wounds. They put a couple shots into the uh, Storm Surge here, getting it down to 15 wounds. We lost another Pathfinder. We lost one stealth suit here. We lost that team of stealth suits, the ghost kill, and two stealth suits from over there. We're now moving into charge phase for White Scars, turn two, and the Vanguard are charging the stealth suits, and everybody over here is going to charge Long Strike. We'll come back at the end of charges for and combat for turn two. In the combat phase, Long Strike was taken out, but he managed to explode, killing two Terminators, the Interceptor, but dealing two wounds to that tank and one wound to that tank. Over here, the Ghost Kills did not die, or the Stealth Suits did not die, and they managed to not wound anybody over there. This will end... Uh, this will. Oh, they took one wound, excuse me. This will end White Scar's turn two. We will be moving into Tau... Movement for turn three. We are now sitting at ten points to seven. Tau winning. 
Tau movement for turn three. Everything back here kind of stayed where it was. The storm surge moved up a little bit. Stealth suits fell back over here. And the crisis suits have jumped in to land in the backfield right here. See if they can do some damage this turn. We're now moving into Tau shooting phase, turn three. For Tau shooting, turn three, we managed to wound one of the Terminators. We killed one and wounded one bike over here. We've got that Razorback down to two wounds. We got the Dreadnought down to two wounds. Two wounds left. We killed one Intercessor. We killed one Space Marine right there. We did one wound on the uh, Centurion Devastators. And this is going to end Tau's shooting phase for turn three. And they are not going to attack. We are currently sitting at 13 to 7 on points. And moving into White Scar's turn three. In White Scar's move phase, the Terminators and the bikes moved in over here. The Vanguard veterans moved around over here a little bit. And some other guys have moved up this way. The Dreadnought moved up over here. And these guys have moved around over this way, and the Vanguard, the Devastators, Devastators turned around. Centurion Devastators. Centurion Devastators turned around over here. We are now moving into a White Scar's shooting, turn three. In White Scar's shooting phase, turn three, we did a whole lot of wounds to these tanks over here. We got eight left on that one, and seven left on that one, and they are going to be charging that tank. Over here, we killed one stealth suit. Minus one. And. Oh. Yes, we took out those two stealth suits over there. And they managed to take out all the drones over here and do one wound. And uh, just about everything over here is charging into those uh, crisis suits. We're now going into charges for White Scar, turn three. In Tau, or White Scar's combat phase. Nothing happened over here. We still got the one Terminator hiding behind the uh, camera head there, and those two charged in and didn't do any wounds. Over here, the Crisis Suits lived and took no damage. We will. He was already damaged in the shooting phase. So we will now be moving into Tau movement phase, turn four. In Tau, movement phase for turn four, this hammerhead fell back. The storm surge moved up around the corner here. And the crisis suits jumped out of that combat to come land over here to do some stuff over this way. We are now moving into Tau shooting phase for turn three, or turn four. Okay, Tau shooting phase, turn four. We managed to kill the Terminator over here. We managed to kill one Vanguard veteran over there. We did absolutely no wounds to the Dreadnought over here. We managed to do two wounds to the Razorback over there. And we managed to take out this Razorback over here. Tau have moved over there to take the objective over there. We are now sitting at uh, 20 points Tau, 10 points White Scars. Moving into White Scars, turn four. In White Scars movement for turn four, they moved up here. All of these guys over here have started to advance this way. And these guys piled out over here. They've all moved in over here to take out, take out those crisis suits. So we will now be moving into White Scar's shooting, turn four. For White Scar's shooting, they tried to take out some, take out the tanks. They put a couple more wounds on the tanks over here. They're sitting at six and seven. They put a couple wounds into the storm surge, put one wound into the stealth suits here, and took out two of the crisis suits. Charges are going to be the Centurion Devastators, the Space Marines, and the Chaplain into the Crisis Suits. The Dreadnought is going to charge Storm Surge, and the Biker and the Veterans are charging the tanks. We'll come back after uh, White Scar's charges, turn four. So last night we ran into some technical difficulties, mainly the battery dying on the camera, and we did not get to finish, finish filming the end of the game. In the charge phase, the bike survived overwatch and charged the hammerhead on the objective. The Vanguard veterans failed their charge roll, and the tank managed to live, and so did the bike through the combat phase. The 
Dreadnought survived the storm surge's overwatch, managed to make its charge roll, but the storm surge managed to use its invul save to save against the Dreadnought's attacks and took no wounds. For the crisis suits, that was the most interesting battle. They managed to inflict one wound on the chaplain and took one wound in the combat phase, saving almost every attack thrown at them. And at that point, the White Scar's opponent decided that it was not going to win and called the game. The final score was 20 to 13. And I really wish we could have got that last part in there, but the just wasn't in the cards for this one. So we hope you like this battle report, and we'll hopefully have another one next week.